Okay, um, time for the second one, but after the 3D, I came home for a little break because of the 3D. I saw the 3D one at 11.30, so after that one, I came home for a break. Not only because it was 3D, but because it ended like at 2, and I don't like going to the movies at like around 2 because... Man, the medication issue around that time is so annoying. Like, I'm such like a potty poop. I feel such like a potty pooper around that time. Like, you should see me at work between like 2 and two and 4. Like, I do not want to do anything. Like, I do work. I do work. But at the same time, I'm like so unstable. <laughs> Like, I feel so unstable. Like, that for example. It looked worse before, but let's just say something, like, there was a subject that happened. Like, a certain subject happened, was mentioned, and it kind of, like, flipped me off in a way that it was completely unnecessary. Which... Is not supposed to happen like my medication is supposed to control it but yeah my medication hasn't been able to control it so I don't like going to the movies between 2 and 4 that's why I waited till like maybe like 420 although technically I wanted to leave a little earlier because obviously I'm going to get excited by the time I get there. It's just at 2 I wanted to be home and rest a little. Because, <laughs> you know, it was 3D. Although I was supposed to keep my mouth shut about it. <laughs> and if I stay there uh, non-stop from 11.30 all the way to like 7, like seven or 8. I'm just gonna probably collapse there so there has to be a break <laughs> there has to be a break around that time so yeah come on I need a break somehow okay time for round two like okay time for round two which is back to regular 2d no more 3d <coughs> anyway round two just regular 2D. Okay, this is where the mess ups happen. Um, which half of it is my fault, not Jordan's, no one else. Oh, sorry, Jordan, didn't mean to mention your name. Uh, not again. Ugh, I seriously need to take these pages. I'm gonna put this down as soon as I write the time. Say the time. <coughs> I didn't even need you. Oh well. Okay, I I was so late. I don't know what happened. I was just so late. I wanted to go there earlier because it starts at 420, but somehow we just left at like 4, 405. I don't know what happened. Anyway, we left pretty late got there and then I just made myself even more late by <laughs> making me and my friend more distracted and I made her more distracted by accidentally giving me the wrong ticket and I didn't notice this until I was about to enter um, room 7 Hold on. is it room 7? yeah I was right room 7 <laughs> which um happened to be playing Despicable Me 4 and the reason I know this is because I seen it already and I heard the youngest the youngest daughter um trying not to lie about her name during the karate class oh spoiler alert for anyone who didn't see the movie yet anyway they her and one of her sisters was in karate class and she was told to introduce herself and she's trying not to tell her real name 
So. <clears throat> anyway, I knew this wasn't right, so I looked at my ticket and then I realized this is Despicable Me 4. <laughs> so I just started walking back and I think it was um, Gabby or Gabrielle. I had, I'm not sure who. Sometimes I get them mixed up because some of them have like similar names. But I know it's one of my friends. I know some of them longer than the new ones. Like they have a new one, which welcome to Regal Emma. Trust me, you're really gonna love it. And uh you're gonna see a lot of me. Uh, I'm kinda like number kind of like a uh, I can't say if I'm number one number one fan <laughs> of Regal but yeah just gonna say a lot to me so that's a heads up warning <laughs> anyway um yeah like I said that's mostly my fault because I was distracting her too much and I didn't realize until I was about to enter room 7 and looking at my phone, I should have known because I was looking at the app and tr tracking the seating all night that it was room 2, which happened to be the most popular room for the movie. I was pretty much just tracking it because mom keeps going on about COVID. And me, I'm just tracking it because it's a habit for my own reasons um, it's just a habit now I like doing it <laughs> it's complicated to explain well anyway yeah mainly my fault and I said uh, it's not your fault <laughs> yeah by the time I got in it pretty much started it was about to start so yeah, yesterday I was like, uh, not your fault, my fault, hey, came in when it started, and yeah, it was dark, so I didn't know what number I sat in, but I know the row, mm. I cannot say if this was like, um, the kind of group that is like, just join the movie if it's their first time or is there multiple time or are they just sometimes rude but as one person just kept putting their feet up but you know it was a it was just a small group so it didn't really bother me the fact that i was seeing this multiple times i'm like it's not gonna bother me i was more focused on the movie anyway so because of how amazing it, it's been hooking, getting me hooked on. So yeah, it definitely didn't bother me. If it was my first time watching it, it would have bothered me. But not enough to like tell them to stop. No. So yeah, it completely did not bother me. I think what bothered me the most by the time it was at the end and like pretty much getting to like the second half of what I enjoy the most were like the fighting and the Madonna music and, and putting on the mask. Oh, come on. I seriously need to put this down. Pretty much the only time that you seriously do not want to leave the room is when I had to use the bathroom. Like, I'm pretty much... Yesterday, I was pretty much breaking my rules. Like, I was pretty much breaking my rules. Like, I was so late yesterday that I did not do any of my bathroom rules yesterday. And that was another reason why I was constantly late. Like, because I kept using the bathroom before I left the house. But the thing is, one of my rules is to use the bathroom before the movie, but because of how late I was, I couldn't do that. So yeah, pretty much by the time it came to the half the, the other half of the movie, which I do not like leaving the room, 
my lower back was in so much pain of uh, wanting to use the bathroom. I did not want to. I was pretty much holding it in pain while trying to enjoy the movie to the point that I just had to go. I was like waiting until there was a scene that I'm like, okay, I can go. I have one more time to watch this. Let me just go. <laughs> I just knew that I had to like drink something else besides soda because this was like a soda crisis. <laughs> like, no more soda, just get water. So I made it back in time for like the finale of the movie. <laughs> Thank goodness because I would have been pretty upset. <laughs> I know, come on, come on, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> but come on, Deadpool has a point. If you put a Deadpool and a Wolverine listening to Madonna at the same time, <laughs> come on, yeah, he's got a point. It makes such an awesome, it's such an awesome scene. <laughs> I'm pretty much hooked on that song right now. <laughs> Like, I've been driving everyone in the house crazy from that. <laughs> and I'm just talking about that version. Not her original version, but this version. Although I do listen to the original, but it's this one that I've been driving everyone else. So yeah, pretty much every time I've gone to see this movie, it's been a crazy different, different experience. <laughs> I can say there was no, probably no sense of humor in the 3D experience. I wanted to laugh hysterically, but because nobody was laughing, I tried so hard not to. As for the second round, there was slight humor, so I tried not to, but I just couldn't help it in most of the scenes. And because I was wearing boots that make noise, I tried not to not to tap my feet or try to dance because I wanted to so bad like the music selections of this movie are just so epic which makes it makes this movie like the top of the top best oh my god there's so much about this movie that makes it my like the best I've seen in theaters this year there's so much and music is definitely one of them like like you would think it would be one of those movies that would just use the latest songs but no they they decided to like go back to the old stuff and that's like pretty much like a smart thing to do it's like a smart thing and it's great and hilarious <coughs> i was not expecting to hear a grease song and that's what made the car fight scene hilarious especially during the opening night that crowd was was epic and it's still unforgettable <laughs> yeah I will have to I need to share in one video I need to finally reveal which Deadpool and Wolverine experience is my most favorite anyway the second round oh man where was I at man yeah like I said uh, I finally had to use the bathroom as for the end even though I wanted to stay for the credits because my god the other smart thing the, the other smart thing they did was having special features during the credits like that is so awesome and also, it's inspiring. Like, they need to do that more often for movies. Like, put special features in the credits. Because not everybody gets, like, Blu-ray or any, like, other additional things that go with the movies. And DVDs don't always include those things. So the fact that they put, like, special, like, special, like, behind-the-scenes footage or even rare stuff in the credits is so special and inspiring to people who want to be like that who want to do that stuff in the future 
It's even special for kids who did, or those who didn't even know that happens. Like if they would have done that a long time ago when I was younger, I would have known that that was that's how movies were really made. Like if I had known that a long time ago, I wouldn't have been made fun of for like saying, oh, I want to be a wizard when I grow up, or I want to be a fish when I grow up. I'm referring to Finding Nemo <laughs> when I said that. Like if they had done that with any, all movies a long time ago, then people, youngsters, would have been able to understand how movies were made. The fact that they did this with Deadpool and Wolverine is a very small idea. And it actually made people stay. Like usually I see people just leave the moment the movie ends. But the fact that they s movies started adding things to the credits on the cre end credits now is pretty much the smartest thing that they are doing now. It's the smartest thing ever because you are like, you're actually encouraging people to stay a little longer. And they're not just staying longer to see a end credit scene, you know, like those end credits for the next like Marvel or DC movie. No, Twisters did the same thing. They had something during the credits. Like Garfield, it was like animation things, which nobody didn't really stay for. But for this one, people were actually staying, which was cool. So they were really smart to do this. I should have saved this for the third round because the third round was really the whole room people were staying. This one, the second round. I think the big fans were staying, although it was technically a small, small crowd, almost, yeah, but like I said, I should save the third round for the next video, but anyway, on to the third one, although I think I lost track of this round, the second round of watching the movie, but anyway, let's go to the third. Because the third round of watching this movie yesterday is was the most interesting ever. It was practically almost, it was pretty much as interesting as the opening night. So let's get to it.